So, what is the most common cause of uh, the death? Pneumonia is a very well known uh, fact. Another very easy question. First generation IUDs are non medicated, is a very well known fact uh, which you, should, you can't afford to do mistake. Dofetilite is which class of antiarrhythmics? Once more. Antiarrhythmics and the classes, standard topic. So basically, it belongs to the class three. At least uh, you need to be happy that they didn't ask which will prolong the the action potential duration. So many things you already prepared and gone to exam. To identify which class it belongs to is not a very big uh, challenge or a very big difficulty. Is it clear? Okay. Now uh, please ask him to Suresh to follow up on the. As a, as a viewer, eh? right, four T's, teratoma, thymoma, terrible lymphoma and uh, retrosternal thyroid, they are all antimediastinal. It is the uh, lymph node enlargement of metastasis generally are uh, considered to be the uh, ones which stay in middle mediastinum rather than anterior mediastinum. Neutropenic patients may commonly you see ectima gangrenosum and ectima gangrenosum is caused by pseudomonas is a very well known question. This question straight many times we discuss it doctor surgical causes and medical causes of oculomotor nerve palsy. Posterior communicating artery in the circle of villus. Its aneurysm leads to compression of the oculomotor nerve. Oculomotor nerve will be arising from the midbrain is what need to be remembered. And uh, have you answered anybody cavernous sinus? Sixth nerve policy. Aneurysm in the cavernous sinus. Then if there is any occipital or posterior cervical pain, you need to think of pica or ica aneurysm. So that is how the various aneurysms and uh, their compressive features is what you need to ultimately remember. Mammillary bodies. I thought even dorsomedial thalamus could be a potential answer. They gave actually an entrance like that. I mean uh, university. Could be they can be right, but you can still contest because both mammillary body and dorsomedial thalamus. I leave the literature for you. You have the entire uh, description of uh, how important is the dorsomedial thalamus. So actually, both of them are mentioned in the literature, and in fact, some studies strongly pointed that dorsomedial thalamus is uh, much more important when it comes to memory loss. Because even without Wernicke's also, any other lesion leading to the destruction of the dorsomedial thalamus is known to lead to memory loss. Right? So that is the reason examiner may be having super duper reference from a topmost journal which is based on a randomized control trial, you can't help it. Right? But still you can request the university that sir, mammillary body also please consider because that one mark is going to decide, shadis are decided, uh, becoming a father is decided, everything is stopped because of a stumble block called joining PG. Uh, so, defective intestinal inflammation, I mean to detect the intestinal inflammation, very easy question, fecal calprotectin, key has given lactoferrin, it can't be. Calpro, calprotectin in the patient's feces can reflect the disease activity of the ulcerative colitis is what you have to basically remember and can be used as a rational fecal marker. And it is having a very good uh, sensitivity compared to the earlier precursors of it. Splenic artery, most common aneurysm which you typically come across, the visceral aneurysm, uh, 
in patients with pancreatitis. Whiskering in pencil cup deformity. Classical of psoriatic arthritis where you have erosion of one end of the bone and ivory phalanx and uh, there is a soft tissue swelling of the digit called sausage digit and uh, that enthesopathy is responsible for that whiskering is a very important and typical feature is uh, what you need to ultimately remember doctor. Most common atrial masses are all metastasis. Few answers reflexly we will answer uh, common sense will prevail on our mind in the exam hall. Then sickle cell variants some of them will be leading to less severity of hemolysis. Classically hemoglobin SC sickle C is the one which is typically associated with retinopathy and aseptic necrosis of the bones has a higher prevalence but overall hemolysis has a lesser severity is what you have to ultimately remember.